because they haven't made it. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I graduated from NTU in 1986, served in the Army for two years, and I went to the uh, Stone Brook uh, in New York State. And I studied there for four years, and then I came back to the Against Nika, served a postdoc for one year. Then I moved to the South. I taught uh, at the Zhongzhen University and the Chengdu University for about 80 years. Then I moved back to the Against Nika. 2001, then stay exemption in class till now. It's a number. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, uh, uh, before I came here, I received a message from the uh, Jingwei, Professor Jingwei, and uh, he apologized that uh, he couldn't attend uh, my, my talk. But <coughs> I brought his uh, message, I saw the announcement uh, written by uh, Todi. <laughs> Todi said that uh, I will explain, okay, the child missing. In fact, uh, this is not purpose of this talk, okay? I'm not going to explain child, child mixing because, in fact, instead, I want to tell you this child mixing cannot be explained in the standard model so far. <laughs> not yet, not yet, okay? So, so in fact, we have, we, we have to uh, put more effort, okay? Now, this is uh, the I want to tell you, okay? So, I don't uh, think you mean it can be explained in mainstream physics. But be before you understand it in a standard model, I think it's still early to talk about new physics. But certainly, Chong Mi is a good place to search uh, new physics because Chong Mi is very small. Yeah, um, okay, so and uh, so I'll talk about Chong Mi Sing and uh, in uh, uh, its close approach. In fact, this uh, is who, in fact, I want to use the, the full, originally, I want to use a full name. It's called a preparation assisted. Undertook approach, but I found the name is wrong, so I just say an exclusive approach. Okay, then I will, I will explain that again. Okay, first, uh, this uh, will be a long introduction because I know that this is a, 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 a course for the first student, so I think I should uh, explain the more uh, uh, something about the standard model. So, before I talk about uh, our study, so okay, this is the standard model. We are starting now. So we know that uh, if uh, we enlarge the, um, a piece of uh, material, you'll see a lot of uh, many uh, atoms. And then you glue in, glue in to see the structure of the atoms, you will see there's uh, uh, many electrons surrounding outside the uh, nucleus. And then you glue in the, 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 the nucleus of Jungle here. And then you will see the nucleus contains many protons and the new, uh, neutrons. So you further look inside the proton or neutron, you will see the quarks. So the quarks are the, the, the uh, energy particles we know so far. So, if, uh, so this is the uh, uh, table, uh, is the, the, the standard model we are having now. And uh, so we have uh, three families for quarks, three families for uh, electrons. So this is up, down, charm, change, up, bottom. And uh, so this is the, the, the rows, in the, uh, major rows in the standard model. And these uh, rows can interact with each other through the uh, the so-called force carry. So the photons are propped at the uh, uh, electromagnetism, uh, electromagnetic force, and uh, the gluon uh, propped at the, the strong force and the P and W, okay, give us the weakest action. So this is, so now I will, uh, so certainly the, the, the topic of today is about this charm, okay, charm, charm meson. So the, the neutral meson can mix it with each other, so I will tell you how how the, uh, this happens. Now, uh, first, we in order to study weak interaction, we have to define as U two doublets. Okay, so U up, uh, up and down form uh, uh, as U two doublets. Doublets means that uh, they can transform into each other through the uh, weak interaction. So, for example, the D can uh, decay into U, and some can be up, uh, up clock by emitting a uh, uh, double boson. And the C and K into uh, S by emitting a uh, W boson. Now, so according to this uh, uh, W, we can write down the, the very simple four chromium operators for the gate action. So, for example, the, this uh, is a C. Okay, C can decay into S, and the W boson uh, uh, becomes the lepton and the neutrino. So, the G that describes the, the, uh, the strength of the weak K is called so called the Fermi constant. Okay. So according to the this uh, definition, we know that there's only 
transformation between the U and D and the between the C and the S. However, we observe this mode. K plus can be given to the mu and the mu neutrino. So it means uh, that mu and the S, as bar particles get annihilated, and they into a bar force, of those uh, becomes the, the mu and the uh, mu neutrino. So it means that mu and the S can couple to each other. So it's somewhat is a contradiction to the, the definition here. So you can cover it in the X. Then, the, then how do you uh, resolve this puzzle? So here you can introduce a new copy constant to describe the interaction between U and S. Now, instead of uh, introducing a new copy, OK, copy will introduce the concept of so-called quantum uh, mixing. So this is a very important concept in physics. It means that, that uh, we have differentiated the state of a quark into the weak uh, eigenstate and the mass eigenstate. So they can, uh, uh, they are, so the weak eigenstate can be written as a linear combination of the uh, max eigenstate. So in fact, it's a weak eigenstate which form the SU2 uh, subplates. And the mass eigenstate is the quark you measure okay, in the uh, detector. So uh, so by introducing this concept, okay, you, then you know that uh, U and D prime okay, form a uh, yes, SU2 subplate. C and S prime form a uh, Because the um, D and D prime okay, contains the component of, uh, of S, the D prime, the linear combination of the D and the S. So the U and the S can couple to each other. This that explains the K plus uh, uh, little K. So uh, and the, if, if you can check uh, whether this uh, make part mixing the whole zone now by comparing these two uh, Processes. So, for example, the, uh, you can see the US coupling in, and the, the CD coupling is roughly of the same order because they are described by the psi and theta C and the minus psi and theta C here. Okay. So, C and CD. So, yeah. okay. so the C is the one of the, the least, the CD and the, the US. Okay. And the theta C is a small angle, about 30 degrees. Okay. So, this is the contribution okay, made by people. In my opinion, wait, wait, wait. if this is fully true, it would have gotten the difficult Nobel Prize. So this this page is far from accurate. You've given all the gym credit to right. Oh, okay. Uh, next page, you will see. So in my opinion, this uh, the, the quark missing is a very important concept, but unfortunately, the people did not get the uh, Nobel Prize. So now if you generalize... Well, no, uh, you're misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then the, we can then these two, uh, this is the generalized Kirby-Bose idea into a three generation. Okay, so now so you, in, now we have uh, one more uh, ISU to that point, which is formed by top and bottom. So we have a three uh, families, so now we can talk about mixing uh, between the three generations. So we can see the uh, three by three uh, mixed matrix. So this is called BUD. BUD is uh, the, correspond to the, the cosine C in the previous page, BUS. So, so I wrote that there's a mixed matrix in terms of the so-called Wolfson time uh, penetration. So in this form, it's an it's a, uh, uh, easy form because you can uh, handle it uh, in, 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 a, in a simple way. So, and, uh, so you can see that if uh, this term was more the cosine theta, and then you expand, so suppose theta c is small, you expand cosine theta, you get a one minus half of theta c squared. So if the lambda is uh, it's just a theta c. So, and so if you can see uh, this uh, uh, matrix give us uh, some uh, uh, hierarchy here. So it means that the diagonal uh, elements is about, about one, and the force diagonal becomes smaller. And these two elements are even smaller because there's a lambda compute, so even smaller. So you can have this uh, mixed matrix in your mind. Then I will explain the neutral mixing here. Okay. So the, the very important achievement by these two general is that is that because once you generalize the mixing. So this weak phase can give us a sleep knowledge. But I'm not going to talk, uh, talk about sleep knowledge today. Okay, now, so, so you, you, you know that uh, through this mixing, so the B can decay C, D can decay U. C can decay, decay D, can decay, decay to, to S. Okay. So, this, uh, that, so the, all these uh, three generations can mix the uh, Now, so if you have uh, this uh, CK, uh, 
mixing matrix to the light, and uh, it's easy to understand why the tail is mixed. So you see, tail is formed by S bar and E. So through these uh, uh, two uh, uh, the Poisson exchange, S to U, U to E, okay, S to C, C to D, S to D, D to E. Okay, then, so then you, you can transform the K, K0 into K1. Okay, so this is like, it's a similar, let's uh, uh, give us a, the, 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 the first picture. So the K and K0, and K0 and K1 can mix. So in fact, this uh, pale mix is very important because the pale mix gave us the first observed specific violation or in pale mix. Okay, also, and then we know that the, the mixed matrix is uh, uh, the <coughs> inner term. So it means that the, the, the U dagger U is the, uh, 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 the uh, mixed matrix. But U dagger times U equals to one. So you know that uh, uh, you find that one of the, the orthogonal elements is equal to equal to zero, then you, you know that uh, this product is a sum of the product of the CK matrix elements should be equal to, to zero. So it's U D U S C D C S T D T S. So it, it means that uh, if If these uh, intermediate state clock are identical, are identical, then because uh, the, you have the uh, you know, UD, uh, US here, CD, CS here, TD, TS here. So if uh, all the intermediate clocks are identical, then uh, this mixing should be equal to zero. Okay. Because this uh, uh, you can tell. Okay. But certainly you know that uh, the top clock have uh, Different. They have different messages, <coughs> such that uh, this uh, you know, head is uh, uh, that this uh, sub is uh, uh, violent. Okay, so that's why we have non vanish uh, mixing. Okay, this is very very important. So the the, the we, we should has mentioned that the, the G mechanism. So so this in fact that this uh, uh, pale mix is very important because it gives a, give a hint for the uh, the uh, existence of a charm clock before charm it was discovered. So if there's no trap, if there's no, okay, so okay, first, the TD, TS is very small, so you can see, the so, okay, paste it here. TD, okay, this is one of the top battery. Okay, TD and uh, TS, okay, so you, so you can see that the, the uh, it's of all the lambda to the uh, fifth, so it's very small. Basically, these two terms are more important. So if there's no charm, then only this term uh, exists, okay? You know that this, if you, you can drop this term, then the sum of these two terms equal to, equal to, to zero. So if there's no charm, this term does not come into either, but you have only this one term. So if there's only uh, the first generation and also uh, S1, there's no charm, then, then uh, this, uh, then you will see the kill missing will be too big, too big. Okay, so that's why people uh, conjecture that we should have uh, another clock, which is Trump, and with different mass. If a Trump has the same mass as uh, the, 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 the D, uh, the, the U, if it's Trump and the U have the same mass, then they will, they will, they will, these two terms add into, into zero, so you will have a exact calculation. There's no mixing. But if, uh, if there is no Trump, only this term you have two big mixing. So, that, so that's why people conjecture that we should have the, the, the charm clock. Such as partial cancel the first term and the two terms. Too big, the data is very good. If you don't have germ, <laughs> just the UDUS there, yeah. you have to divert it. Right. Yeah. So it's not just too big, it's just theoretically problematic. Okay. It's, so, it's the weak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and uh, okay. So now let's also the kiln, neutral kiln can mix certain uh, the B, uh, B sub D. Okay, this is a neutral B mass of can also mix. So you can see that through the B and D. Okay, so B became to become U and it become count to D. So the so intermediate part is B C D. Okay. So then we have the, the mass mixing. And uh, similarly, we have this uh, utility relation. So these are three terms add into zero. And uh, this case is different from the chaos mixing. 
because now three terms are roughly similar. So you can see the UB, UB, CB, CB. Since see the three terms are uh, always the model. Okay, always the model. So, so if there's no top, okay, th okay, okay, if there's no top, only these two terms, and these two terms cannot add to, to zero. Okay, because the, this term is equal, these two terms cannot add to, to zero. So if there's no top, then the missing will be too big to this term. So, they, they, so, this, uh, so B sub B method missing hints the existence of the top block before top was. So you can see that the, the, this uh, mutual metal mixing is very important. So at any time before the, the charm and the top were uh, discovered, so the charm and the top can be considered as a new physics. So indeed, that the mutual metal mixing is a good place to search for new physics. Okay, so now we come to the today's topic, the D metal mixing. First, the D metal mixing is very small, okay, in the standard model, compared to the kale and the because uh, in this case, the utility relation is here. VCB, VUB, VCS, VUS. Okay. The VCB, VUB. So, uh, so you can see the, 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 the last term, CB, UB. So CB is uh, lambda to, to lambda square. UB is uh, the lambda to the cube. So it's totally the lambda to the fifth. But it's very small. And uh, so only these two terms are uh, relevant. And uh, because of the, the intermediate state quark is the, 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 the D and the S, right, D and S. And the D and the S have, the, their masses are roughly equal to each other. Okay, they, they, are, they are similar mass. So it means that it, these two terms are relevant, and these two quarks, these two intermediate state quarks have a similar mass. So there's a strong convergence. So this explains why the D metal is should be very similar. So then uh, this, uh, so because uh, this uh, missing is uh, very small in the standard model, so it's uh, an ideal place to look for uh, new physics. But certainly, before you identify, you see the new physics, you have to understand the term in the standard model. And unfortunately, uh, today, <laughs> the, the, the purpose of, the, of, of my talk is to tell you it's very difficult to understand the in the standard model. Yeah. Okay. okay, now. So here I will, I will study the so-called charm mixing parameters X and Y. Okay, so this is the, the D, the D bar mixing. So in the operative quantum mechanics, okay, if the U and these two space can mix each uh, with each other, so when time goes down, they can transform to each other. Okay, that means that means that there's an uh, oscillation between the D0 and D0 bar. So this uh, time evolution can be described by the this evolution equation. So this is uh, the Hamiltonian. So the time derivative equal to the Hamiltonian. Okay. Now you have the, the, you can you discuss the time evolution of these two states, D0 and, and uh, D0 bar. Because uh, the D0 and D0 bar can mix with each other. So the of diagonal term of this uh, mixed matrix, okay, this uh, uh, is, is uh, uh, Hamiltonian. Okay. It's not there. It's not, not there. So we don't need to study detail of the, the, the mixed matrix uh, M and the gamma here. We don't need to study to know the, 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 the detail. What you need to know is that uh, you know the next step is to diagonalize okay, this uh, 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 mixed matrix to find the eigenstate. Okay, this is the you need to know. And uh, you know that the, the after you diagonalize the, this matrix, you can get eigenstate. You know, okay, this, uh, so these are the, the, the next eigenstate, D, 1, 2. Because you start to have a point, you diagonalize it, you get a mass eigen state. So it's called one, two. And it is a linear combination of a D0 and D0 bar. Okay. And the P is Q on the coefficients. Okay. Now, so so you in this uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, mixed matrix, there are two uh, important uh, uh, observables. One is the mass difference between these two mass eigen states. Another is the K-width difference between these two eigenstates. Okay. So the, 
the x define the mass difference in one minus and two divided by gamma, how to decay width, and the y define the, the width, the difference of the uh, the uh, the decay width gamma one to gamma two. So if you so now I'll, so the, we want to understand whether we can uh, uh, capture x and y in a certain amount. So we can get uh, a correct value of like x and y, it means that we can understand x the next in a standard model. Okay. Uh, okay, this is this is what I said. Okay, so you see that the intermediate the state uh, of quark is uh, basically come from U uh, the D and the S. Because the, the third term, the third this uh CK energy is very small, so the B quark is uh, irrelevant here. The only the first two terms are important. And we know that S and D have similar mass, so that they almost cancel each other. So this explains the small mix. And so the non-vanishing is due to the difference between the D and the S. So the non-zero mixing is from the SU3 symmetry breaking. Because S and D, if have the same mass, then we have the SU3 symmetry breaking. So you know that the key to understand the D, the D metal mixing is the SU3 symmetry breaking. It's very important. And then later I'll tell you, in more precise language, is it due to the use in symmetry uh, breaking? Because uh, you spin in the symmetry relate D and S. Okay? So the you spin in the subgroup of, of the S and U3. Okay? Later I will uh, discuss U3. So, so, so you see that uh, we have to understand the U S U3 symmetry breaking is D metal decay in order to understand the uh, charm mixing. Okay? This is very difficult. You know, the SUC symbolism is always difficult. Can, can I ask a question? Uh, I don't understand for what quarks you're talking about. Because we have, I understand we have the bare, I, I, well, we have the massless quarks, then we have the Higgs appears, so we have uh, the massive quarks, but when the QCD comes later, we have uh, hadrons, yes? So we have the D. Now, the quark, the quarks in this D are the quarks with a quark condensate around. It, it is, these are the dressed quarks. So I'm not sure when, when you say when you say a quark here, this is not the dressed quark, right? This is the quark. Uh, dressed quark means that you, you add the QCD. Yeah, you right. Add the QCD effect. But, yeah, but, but this is what it is in the D, right? But, but currently, you don't need to consider QCD. Yeah, here I so you, you can basically understand the, the important feature. Kilo missing, D metal missing, D metal missing. Just through the, it's, uh, uh, without QCD, you can understand it. Ah, without QCD. Ah, without okay, QCD. So, so, yeah, so, okay. So here, I don't talk about QCD. Yeah, so, so you know that the, the mm. quark mass are all different. This is very good. This is very good. And, and this is U3 breaking effect is the UDS flavor. Well, that's, oh, that's because of the mass difference between the D and the, and the S. So it's, the, so it's the flavor. So it's the flavor group. Yes, the flavor group. Okay. Now, uh, so the uh, okay, the current experiment data are shown here. So, if a CD is conserved, it means that if there is no CD violation in a charm decay, then uh, we can extract the X and Y from the is a D metal oscillation data. You can even study a time evolution. You can extract the data X with the data gamma, and you can obtain the X and Y. So the the, the data give us here point four nine. Uh, and uh, you can see the uncertainty is, is, is small now. So if you plot the data on this, uh, 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 this uh, uh, plan, you can see that basically it's a, it's a, okay, it's the x, y are not zero. The zero is here, zero is here. x, y are not zero. Okay, and this uh, uh, the far beyond the, the, the five sigma. So we know the x and y are not zero. And the, indeed, the D metal. Mix. So if uh, the CP violation is allowed, okay, then uh, you get uh, this value. They, 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 these are some difference. Okay, let me explain. Or what, what? What do I mean? The CP conserve or CP uh, violates. They, it depends on whether you will introduce more feeding parameter. Okay. So, but so far the series I have tried to understand the values of X and Y here, and uh, and. Uh, 
you talk about the central value, okay, we can reach only of all the only the one percent. And this is the point six, point six percent. And uh, you will talk about the the, the, the uh, precision. The precision is quite poor currently. So we have the expert here that learn it. So if you know want to know more detail about the how to pick X Y, you can uh, ask them. So later I will quote the uh, uh, Zhengwei and Haiyang's paper. So 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 currently the theoretical uh, result is uh, is not not very precise. So what is the error of the theory error on S and Y? Yeah, S so of order. Would you they, people say oh, just yeah. give an order magnitude of X and Y, the point one percent. Yeah, but the uncertainty of the decimation also point one percent. It is so basically you can you, we so we so, the, the, so the current statistical result cannot tell us we, whether we have understood the atomic cell or not. We cannot tell because the, the precision is not good enough. Yeah, the calculation is based on what? Based on what? Yeah. Next page. Huh? Huh? You mean the, the, the uncertainty? No, no, just saying the calculational approach because I right. thought there was a criticism right. saying right, 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 right. that there's actually a large uncertainty. I forgot. Right. But uh, can I just say the theory of uncertainty is also 0.1 percent because that depends on the approach. Right. You yes. made some assumption to right. simplify. Right. I don't think that's a true theory of error. Uh, you are right. You're correct. For the uh, exclude for exclude approach, the error comes from the data. Main main comes from the data. For inclusive approach, okay, the error bias is small, but um, unfortunately the central value is very small. So okay, I, I will give you detail. Uh, okay. First, I want to tell you that. The charm method is a very difficult subject, okay, compared to KO and D method. Because uh, charm math is a little bit um, awkward, okay, it's a point one point three G D. It's not as heavy as a B quark, which is about five. It's not as light as K, which is about point one. So if uh, it's a he as, a, as heavy as a B uh, B meson, then you can use the conversion uh, theory, like a heavy quark of this theory. Okay. And you can start the B meson. And uh, if it's a lighter as a KO, you can use a chiral conversion So we have a very uh, mature approaches to B meson and KO cases. But for D meson, we don't have a good theory to, to, to study. I think that maybe the only tool is to use the latest QCD. But, uh, uh, but, but if we want to capture D meson decay using latest QCD, maybe we still <coughs> wait for several decades. So, so currently, the basic, basic is difficult to use it to take a decay constant. But if you want to study, for example, the D to K pi, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Yeah. So, so in my opinion, it's a very uh, difficult, more difficult than D meson and K on decays. Okay. Now, certain people still attempt to uh, capture the D meson decays, uh, D meson mixing. So, first one is so-called the inclusive approach. I, I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, so you can imagine that you you just capture. Okay, this calculation is based on the quark hadron theory. That means that we know it's a hadron which which uh, goes into uh, this case. It's a hadron. But according to a quark hadron theory, if uh, if the final state uh, so you have sufficient final state and you know it's sum over this final state, somehow you can mimic the hadron dynamics using the quark uh, dynamics. This is so-called quark hadron theory. So the inclusive uh, approach is based on this one. So you basically you just take the, uh, the this uh, uh, quark level diagram, okay, quark level diagram. So you have D and S quark in this group. So you can imagine you string bubble boson yeah, into a, a pond. Okay, then you take uh, this loop, quark loop. Then, and then you, you, you assume the quark is your It means that you can use the uh, quark dynamics to mimic hidden dynamics. Okay, this is the assumption of okay, the approach. Okay, then people have got a result. Very small, okay, X is about 10 to minus six, Y is about 10, 10 to minus five. So it means that uh, this quark hydrogen theory should break. Okay, should break. It means that the, the final states are not sufficient to guarantee the quark hydrogen theory. Okay. It, just, it just means that the charm mass is too low, so you cannot produce sufficient final state to guarantee the quark hydrogen So it means that short distance conversion cannot describe the charm charm mix. So this are inclusive 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 approach does not work. Okay. okay. Now next one is so called. Exclusive approach. It's you just uh, follow the definition of the uh, of y. For example, you have y is.